Hey, this is the Hellion from the Hellion Rocks. Today I'm really excited to talk to Stacy Blades. Uh, brand new project. Well, kind of brand new, kind of old, I think. Angels in Vain. Stacy, jump on and tell me what it's about. Yeah, sure, brother. Um, it's uh, it ha- it's happened very, very quickly. Um, um, to give you kind of a brief synopsis, uh, so to speak. Um, you know, Chris Van Dahl and I have been friends for years, and uh, he has been recording music with his old Cherry Street guitar player, um, Taz Anthony, who is the other guitar player in Angels and Pain. So well, I was supposed to do uh, this Bowie Cherry thing after David Bowie passed. We, there was this thing that they were going to do at the Hard Rock here in Vegas uh, for to, to raise money for Cancer uh, Foundation. Um, with a bunch of guys playing, it was all Bowie music. So I had reached out to uh, Chris about singing, and um, Eric Stacy was kind of heading up the music. He was like the MD of the thing. So that's how it kind of started. And, and Chris had told me, he goes, uh, "Oh, I've been." I was saying, "What's what, what are you up to lately?" And so he says, oh, "I've been doing all this new music," and I was like, "Really?" And uh, so I got him to send me a track, and I was just. I was blown away it just had this really just kick-ass vibe uh it had a very new modern sound but kind of retro sounding too it was like kind of a cross between velvet revolver and and, and bowie um so i was just like wow i was like send me more you know and uh, um so we started talking he's like well we need another guitar player bass player and drummer so you know we started talking kind of uh um amongst all of ourselves and um Vic Falk was actually supposed to do the project so we set up um we started recording and we set up a time to schedule a video shoot for the single and um Vic unfortunately couldn't do it so we got Troy Patrick Farrell who just came in and totally kicked ass so uh that's the lineup. So it's myself, Chris Von Dahl, uh, Taz Anthony on second guitar, Eric Stacy on bass, and Troy Patrick Farrell on drums. And that is Angels in Vain. So we made the announcement. The um, the yeah, it's a great lineup. And uh, we made the announcement a couple weeks, and, and just the press has been – we were just really taken by surprise. Uh, it's just going over like gangbusters. So we're super excited, and, and the video shoot re- – really, really well, so we're hoping to have that released with in conjunction with uh, iTunes single, uh, hopefully the end of this month, beginning of July. Nice. You know, mm. I, I think that people jumped on board because, you know, it's it's your classic rock and roll formula, twin guitars, you know, yeah. gr- uh, great imagery, you know, solid percussion, you know, and rhythm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, and Chris, you know, he's great vocals. You know, I, I've loved his work in the past. I think it's uh, it's a formula for success. You know, people are really they're wanting to throw away all the you know over processed, over thought stuff and just go back to bare bones rock and roll music. And I'm I'm getting the vibe from Angels in Vain that that's what we're gonna get. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's got a classic vibe, but it has a newness to it too. And I, I think that that's what uh, with the lineup too is very exciting. Um, because it kind of like came out of nowhere, and people are like, "Whoa, whoa, what's this? What is this? Wow, this looks really interesting." Um, so we couldn't be more grateful of the response. Uh, so we're we're gonna you know uh, continue to record more music, and uh, hopefully, I'm thinking by the end of September we'll start touring. So um, we're just gonna keep kind of in that time put out a uh, 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 one more single. And then we'll hit the road. So, you know, all the business is happening now. We're securing, uh, 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 you know, management and, and, and a booking agent and, and doing all that stuff. But, um, again, the, pr- the press has just been so favorable for us. So we're, we're just we're really feeling blessed about this. So uh, it's a- exciting uh, how, how it's happening. We're, we're, re- we're super stoked. Nice. So that's, that seems to be the plan then, right? You're going to... Release some a couple of singles and then you know, continue to record new music and then 
down the road maybe have an EP or a full record out? Is that yeah. what we're shooting for? Yeah, exactly. Because we didn't want to spend all this time chasing a record deal. I, uh, we all kind of collectively thought, you know, let's create some buzz since the the press has been so great for us. Uh, let's release a, let's release a single with the video, and that's just going to generate some more buzz and, and, and uh, spread the word, and, and you'd be able to see the band visually. Um, so I think tactfully, it, it, it's a smart thing to do business-wise as opposed to just, you know, spending months chasing a record deal. And, and that's kind of what, you know, we were doing with Let It Rock. And, and it, it's, that's, that's, a, that's a very taxing process of what the state right. of the music industry is right now. And, uh, um, yeah, so um, we were like, let's do things a little bit different, you know. And it's funny because we had never been in a room together, and here we are filming <laughs> a video we never even played with each other, uh, but it felt great. It felt really natural, and, and it was just like, you know, catching everybody's energy, and Chris has just got just energy out the balls, and, and uh, right. you know, he's like leaping over our heads with his mic stand, and it was just like, uh, you know, a uh, pretty amazing day, so... Um, the video is being edited right now, so there, we shot uh, actually two videos, uh, a very long day. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just going to be visually exciting, and, and I think the music speaks for itself. And like I said, it's got this newness uh, to it, but also has all these, you know, kind of retro elements. Nice. Well, you know, given the cast of characters, and mm-hmm. they are characters, including yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Visually impacting, great. You know, people, uh, I think people are wanting to, to get back to the days of rock stars, you know, doing a little air quote thing there. Mm-hmm. You know, people that, uh, you know, kind of take you away, you know, not necessarily the, the horrible rock star attitude, but, you know, somebody that's larger than life that you can go, you know, escape from your mundane world. You know, I think that's the, the vibe we're going to get from Angels in Vain, you know, in the live show. I can only imagine that given given who you have in the lineup that, it's just going to be that much more over the top. Yeah, we're trying to catch an excitement vibe. You know, it was like when, you know, uh, uh, back in 99 when Buck Cherry came out, there was an excitement to that because they visually right. looked cool and they just had this raw energy. Um, so, you know, we're really hoping uh, to kind of have that avenue where it's like, you know, we get kids excited. It's just like, you know, uh, we're, we're not doing something that's, Dated, so to speak. We're trying to do something new, but um, of course, it's you know we're, we are come from that classic background of the '80s and, and, and stuff. Um, so we're trying to mix all these new and different elements into the band visually and uh, musically as well. Um, and that's what's been really, really kind of exciting too is just going in with a different approach. Um, you know, especially with the with the songwriting and, and writing stuff. You know, uh, Chris and, and Taz have been writing stuff in a lot of different tunings, um, so it gives it um, a very different sound as opposed to stuff that I did with uh, LA Guns and Rocks Gang and Let Rock. So um, that's been kind of uh, an interesting journey as well. Nice, and I, I'm getting the vibe too that the the excitement that people have over this is kind of spilled over and, and you guys are riding from that same excitement which is just going to fuel the fire yeah it's it's an amazing feeling because you, you start feeling like that teenager in the garage again and uh, that's what right. I love about rock music it's like you never you're never too old to do it and it's like you always have that inner child and there's in inside at least for me and I, I I could speak for everybody but um you know for me that's what gets me going it's like when there's that newness and uh you know there's that something when you you it's like when you're unwrapped that gift under the christmas tree as a kid and it's like I think we're all feeling that so um I think it's going to really translate into our performances and and, uh, how we present the band and uh, exciting things to come. Nice. You know, I've I've seen you play live uh, several different times, and I Mm -hmm. always pick that vibe up that, you know, you're having just a blast up there no matter what you're doing. And that is refreshing. You know, I don't think it's ever – yes, it's moments for you. I know know you've talked about it, but I think – it's still what you want to do, you know, and you don't really ever consider it a job 
per se. You're you're just releasing what you feel inside, and, and, and people pick up on that. People in the crowd pick up on that, and that's so cool to see. Yeah, you know, it's like uh, you know when you have a, a music career for for, for decades, it, it's kind of like an EKG. You have your highs, you have your uh, uh, real lows, and then you know. Uh, you learn from that or, or you, you bounce back from, from those lows and you go back up and, and, uh, you know, it, it's all about, um, just being gr- a grateful person. I think at the end of the day, it's just like, I'm so blessed to have music in my life and, and, uh, the career I've had and, and the amazing fans that I have and, and support from, from, from people like you, James, and, and, and other people. Um, it's just, you know, every day I just, you know, get out of bed with a smile on my face. So that that's the key right there to uh you know um to to uh uh for success I think. Very cool. We're talking to Stacy Blades, um uh, new project gonna be coming out, Angels in Vain. Uh tell the world this is actually going out to hundred and thirty countries, man. Tell the world where they nice. can find all the information that they want about Angels in Vain. Sure, sure. Uh, we have a great new Facebook page, Angels and Vain, which is V-E-I-N, like the ones in your arm and legs and body. Um, uh, our uh, website just went live, angelsandvain.com, and we just launched uh, a great new uh, merchandise line. So we have uh, three different styles of T-shirts, and we, we uh, Chris had the great idea to do the old 70s, uh, like uh, baseball T-shirts. No. Uh, with the uh, two-tone arms, the long sleeves. So uh, we've got some great stuff for, for you to check out. And like I said, the um, the video uh, for 1973 with the single um, will should be released, uh, hoping beginning of July, end of June. Um, that's that's the pro- projection right now. And then we'll start touring uh, uh, probably the mid mid fall, end of end of fall, end of September. One cool. One cool thing about the website, when you go to angelsinvain.com, mm-hmm. uh, you can sign up for a newsletter, and yes. uh, that'll that'll keep you uh, keep you informed. Yeah, um, I definitely recommend signing up for that. I definitely recommend checking out the uh, the store. Cool shirts. I've looked. Uh, get on the Facebook page and like them. And right now, Stacy, the world is yours. Tell the yeah. world any kind of message you want. Just you, it's yours. Tell them what you want to tell them. Uh, exciting things, uh, ahead for, for Angels of Vain and, um, you know, uh, also, um, I have the Stacey Blades Rock Academy as well, which is, uh, online, um, guitar lessons that I give. So, uh, always looking for new young recruits or, um, you know, like I was saying, James, you're never too old to, to, to rock, so, uh, you know, I've got some students that are my age that are just, like, thirsty to just play guitar great, so, um, like I said, I just, uh, ensconced in music right now. This is kind of cool, too, um, this week, um, and this is probably air once, once this week passed, but June 9, 10, 11, I'm, I'm, I'm gigging with the Sin City Sinners here in Las Vegas, and, uh, my old bandmate Scotty Griffin is a bass player, so it's um, nice. going to be the first time Scotty and I have done a full performance together consecutively in almost four years. So um, there's a lot of people excited about that in town. So that, that's going to be fun. Very cool. And this is uh, Hellion. Yep. Hellion rocks. We're talking to Stacy Blades and Angels and Veins coming out. Check out the website. We're out. Awesome. Cool. Um, it'll actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a rush. I'm gonna put a rush on this and get. This-